Good morning, beautiful twin flames. This is Karen from Man and Delight. Thank you for selecting to watch my video and for liking, subscribing, and sharing my channel. Thank you for the support of my channel. Thank you to the ones that get me. Um, and know that I'm um, most importantly coming from a space of um, teaching. Um, and that my earnest desire is for everyone to come into union and progress on their journey. That's what my readings are about. Um, I always add extra guidance, really try to get you guidance so it moves you forward on your journey. So that's what I'm about. I'm about if you're stuck, getting you unstuck. If you can't move forward towards your journey for whatever reason, clearing whatever that is out of the way, getting you the best guidance from your higher self and guides. So if you're interested in a personal reading, please reach out to me. They are extremely beneficial. Um, I don't leave um, the reading up in the air at all. It's like... I find out what's going on, which is nice, um, and, and what the challenges are, but I also get what you should be doing and how you can move forward. And that would be from your guides and your higher self. So um, it's a good reading. But thank you to those who understand, who love me and support me, who are clapping for me. Um, I appreciate it so much. If I don't jive with you or you have problems with anything that I've said or done, um, I'm there's so many out there that you can connect to. Um, so I just wouldn't be the one. And there might be a time uh, further on in your journey will you will, when you will be able to connect to what I'm doing and saying. Um, so, okay, that's that. But I wanted to um, give an update on just some some things that are going on and offer some advice um, as far as um, reaching out to your twin in the physical. Um, first of all, to just seal and confirm that um, the feminine is leading the union and also leading in mission. I, I, right when I said mission, it turned 1111. I looked down right when it said turn to 1111 on my phone. Um, is because um, my twin and I are mirroring each other as far as um, mission and uh, websites and things like that. I had just which many of you know, a couple of weeks ago, launched my new website with everything on there and just um, talking about what it is that I do and um, and how I can help on a soul's journey. Uh, Yesterday, on the full moon, my twin launched their new website, um, which is a part of our mission. So that is exciting in and of itself. I kind of had it, 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 it invoked a lot of emotion in me because I was so proud. It was such a confirmation. It's all there. It was beautiful. And um, but I what was the hardest part for me was not being able to offer congratulations, not being able to celebrate um, because I just really didn't get the go ahead to reach out in the physical and to to do that. Um, I did I did like the status that was um, talking about it. Um, announcing it but that was it but I wanted to do so much more I of course wanted to show up at her door and say let's go eat let's celebrate uh, you know I, a phone call an email a text something I, I wanted to do that my, my physical body was screaming 
This is amazing. I'm so proud of you. This is wonderful. You're awesome, dude. You are badass. This is amazing. You are on it. And I'm so proud of you. And I love you. I love you. I love you. That's, of course, was my response. But I didn't get confirmation to do any of that. But I did like it. Uh, Whether that was uh, seen, acknowledged, I have no idea. But I really, it wasn't time. It's just not time. It's not in the physical. And yesterday I had went on, I went to L.A. for the first time. I had been there when I was a baby, but it didn't count. uh, Because I don't remember any of it. So my first actual time in L.A., was yesterday I met up with another California twin and we hiked um what was neat about that was that um (sighs) awakened warrior s which I don't know if anyone um subscribes to her or watches her videos I really love her energy updates and he had sent one to me where she was talking about the full moon and where um, the ascended master Moses had came in and he was telling her, go to the mountaintop, go to the mountaintop. And we had already had a hike to the top of this huge hill, which I call mountain because it was gigantic and, um, and call mountain because of course we were um, connecting to her video of going to the mountaintop. And we, so we did, we went to the mountaintop, um, on the full moon, right at the cusp of it at 2 47, um, Eastern time yesterday. And while we were there, there was two black crows, which uh, the video messed up on, on his camera. So... We didn't get the video of it, but there was two black crows circling us while we were at the top. And it's like they were, one was going clockwise, one was going counterclockwise. And it was almost like they were doing an eight because their circles weren't exact. You know, it was like one was going this way, one was that way. So it was just confirmation to us um, about partnership and about how close we are um you know it was a pair of crows and how their paths are so close and they're they're jiving and they're moving and they're both doing their thing to uh to come together um so the paths are close and we may one may be going clockwise one may be going counterclockwise and the circles may not exactly meet up but we're both on the journey. We're both doing what needs to be done. And pretty soon, you know, we're going to get closer and closer and closer until we're both on the same circle going in the same direction. That's how close it is. And um, so that was confirmation also of um, how the feminine really is leading because uh, I have confirmation that my twin has followed behind me and has basically um, done the same thing. I stepped out in my mission and I stepped out in getting my website together and um, creating what I want to do, which is um, soul work. And it you know, with healing and empowering, teaching, empowering and life coaching, um, dealing with relationships and just for the betterment for, for mind, body and soul. And my twin absolutely, uh, mirrors that. And so our missions are completely coinciding with each other and she followed me and it's not, she wasn't too far behind because it wasn't that long ago that I launched mine. I mean, I can look at the exact dates and get the exact number of days, which I should do, but, um, that's how close it is. And that's really what's happening. So I wanted to encourage you further. If you have not stepped out in any type of mission yet, you lead. If you have 
something that you know you need to be doing for your union. Now, whether that is disentangling yourself from from a karmic relationship or whatever it is that you know you should be doing and you're hesitating or waiting for what whatever reason, you know, maybe you think you need confirmation or confirmation from your twin. What we've been asked to do and what has been um, elaborated on is that we are not to sit back and hold back and wait. We're supposed to head forward. We're supposed to choose ourselves and choose our path and choose what we want to create and step out in it because the masculine follows. And so there, there's just my story confirming that. Um, and so here's just a little other tidbit of advice, um, about the physical, um, contact. Because I have people ask, and, and that's one of the main things that they, they ask, and that's what some of um, you all want to know in your reading. Like, that's one of your questions. Like, should I reach out to you? Because we're unsure about that. Um, and so that's because I wanted to, of course, yesterday. I mean, it was just like a fabulous day all the way around, and I just thought it was wonderful that on the full moon day, you know, that there was that out there, you know, that movement in that direction. And it was just awesome. And I was just like, oh, my God, bursting. And of course, wanted to share that. But I couldn't. So what I have been doing, because I wanted to also, you know, I, I just had messaged a few of my friends or things saying, all right, I'm on my way to LA for the first time. I'm going and doing this, you know, just letting you know that um, I'll be posting some pictures, you know, of what something cool in LA, you know, cause, um, you know, my daughter who's in Illinois and all that, you know, just letting her know. And so then I was thinking, okay, so who else do I want to tell? I'm going for the first time and, oh, I want to tell my twin. So on my way there, I did a recording of what would I say if, if, if my twin reached out and wanted to know, you know, said something like, oh, well, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. And, you know, I don't know what's going on, you know, but I'm seeing these numbers, I'm seeing your name. And, you know, what would I say? How would I explain it? So I recorded it. And I knew I was on to something with it, and that it was good, and that it was therapeutic, and it was um, better than journaling. You know, it just really, really was. I seen her name I seen um, a billboard that said Twin Peaks I seen numbers 5555 1111 222 I mean all during the recording it was like off the chain so I knew that was them letting me know yes yes this is good this is good this is connecting this is doing what you want it to do this is connecting even though it's not in the physical realm where you are actually not going to be able to send this message to her. You may be able to someday. There may be someday real soon here where I do get that reach out um, and I'm able to uh, give her this message so she can listen to it. Maybe. If not, it's it's out there. It, I was putting it out there. I was speaking it out there. This is what I want to say to you. And so later on that evening, getting ready for bed, that's when I seen her big announcement and jumped out of my skin and, and I just was overwhelmed. And of course, it was emotional and I had tears and and everything. So I said, okay, well, there's the answer. I'm not getting confirmation to to physically reach out because it just would be unseen and unheard at this point still. So I recorded it. I recorded me congratulating her and it was a tearful message, but it was beautiful. And it was just me being completely vulnerable and being completely open. And I was expressing myself completely and just saying um, that I was so proud and that it was amazing. She's amazing. She's wonderful. She's doing a great job. She's so on the money with this, you know, you've included me completely in this and you don't know that you have, 
you know, it's, it's, it's got the elements of me all over it. And she, you know, hasn't made that connection yet, but it's a confirmation it, that it's going in the right direction. It's just confirmation of everything. And, um, yeah, so it was wonderful. So there is a solution and I've like, I've reached out, um, answered a few emails and that has been, um, what I'm saying to the ones that are like, Oh my God, I feel like I should reach out. I feel like I should reach out. Well, don't do it unless you have absolute 100% confirmation. Like you've gotten the sign to do it, um, more than three times from your guides. Like you are just like, okay, they're, they're telling me I need to. And you've got confirmation. You've meditated and got confirmation to reach out. Of course, follow your guidance. But if you're not getting that confirmation and you're just like, you know, something fabulous happened in your life. Something positive. You made a connection to them somehow. Or you've seen this sign or this synchronicity. And you want to share that with them. I know a lot of people write letters to their twins, but I just found this great. Like when I get in the car and if there's something that I want to share, putting it in a recording, just recording it, just acting like they're on the phone with you. It is creating that vibration between you, like you're really talking to them. It's connecting you to them. It's raising your your frequency and it's putting you at the same vibration as them, it's helping you to manifest because you're feeling those feelings of actually talking to your twin. So it's wonderful. It's clearing any type of um, longing energy out of the way. And you really are connecting to them and saying what you want to say to them. Like you are actually talking to them. Just like I was saying, I do about, you know, okay, I'm ready to manifest this. And I, to do it, I have to believe that, we're already together and feel those feelings of that love. That's how you manifest your union. So this helps to do that. So I encourage you, you know, especially if you're just feeling the itch to reach out to do that to, you know, if you like to write and want to do that, I say do that. Um, I love to talk as y'all can tell. So um, I want to do the recordings. And so anytime I want to share anything or anything that's going on, I am going to record it and act as if I'm really talking to her. She's next to me and I am telling her this great story. And um, so I think it's an amazing solution. Uh, It's a good idea. So I wanted to share it with everyone. And um, I hope everyone finds this information beneficial. I, I hope that you love the confirmation as much as I do. I hope it pushes you towards stepping out and creating. Um, I can guarantee you this, that your masculine will follow. So whatever you step out in towards union or mission, your masculine will follow you. Feminine, definitely step out, make those moves, uh, and, and get creating. Okay, so that's all that I have. Just a quick little shout out of um, some advice and and a little confirmation for you about the Divine Masculine and how they do follow. And um, that's it. And I hope to see everybody next week when um, we have that great trine on the... It's on the 19th, but we're putting this out on the 17th. Um about Venus going direct and all of that huge energies. Um, this full moon was huge. Uh, this day is going to be even more huge. So, um, be looking for that activation, uh, on the 17th. And thank you to all those who were on the full moon call with us and got the full moon meditation, gotten such great positive, um, feedback about the meditation. So thank you. Um, We are doing it for you, to help you, and um, it's a complete honor and blessing. And uh, we thank you so much for your support. If you need me, you know where to find me. I love you. Have a great week. Namaste.